Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we'll be big box store plant shopping at Costco Wholesale in Plano, Texas. As always, please hit that like button. And you can see right here, Costco has had a lot of new plants hit the market. Um, I've seen a lot of Costa Farms plants hitting Costco. And so it's super exciting to be able to feature these Costco's in the Dallas Fort Worth area for my plant foldies. And those that are new to the channel, I call my viewers and subscribers plant foldies. Welcome. But you can see right here, Costco is a wholesale membership only um, place and this is only for $24.99 you can see that we've got some ficus audrey right here super gorgeous ficus audrey by costa farms i know that there were a lot of social media influencers on instagram that have been posting reels about this so i definitely wanted to check out my costcos to see if they actually had these plants and they definitely do so i'm super excited to see that i love the fact that costco has some super cost effective um plant pricing like wow look at this plant foldies look at this huge alocasia cuprea in a gorgeous looking pot so this is the wild interiors curated collection typically wild interiors sources out to like big box stores like walmart but as you can see right here it is going full force at costco today you can notice that this is a larger alocasia um, cuprea normally i'll see them in a smaller form for like 17.99 but this is only 15.99 um plant foldy so if you have a costco membership definitely check out your costco um costco to see if they have these available i love costco plants because you always get the best value for them and then even over here plant foldies and therium this is a blooming and therium but only for 15.99 and i do love that modern contemporary pot that wild interiors has um like the fact that they have a selection of plants here it looks like this costco must have just recently received these plants because they haven't really been picked through so i must have gotten super lucky to be able to go here in the morning film this and check out some plants now if you're going to ask me whether i'm going to be buying plants today yes i will definitely be buying plants today because i haven't seen value like this in quite a while in terms of just beautiful alocasia like look at this this was probably going to go home with me this is an alocasia cuprea and when you talk about a plant flex this is awesome 15.99 and look at how large the alo um, alocasia cuprea red is um, I love that silver, maroon, purple foliage, whatever you want to call it. Now, again, plant foldies with alocasia, they do need bright indirect light. They prefer higher humidity levels. Um, you want to make sure that you are um, looking out for any pests like um, spider mites because they can be bit, a bit spider mite prone. As far as watering, you want to be more consistent about the watering with um, alocasia. I would say when the soil is about 70% dry, go ahead and give it a good soak. Now, my plan is to actually take take that alocasia cuprea and convert it into a semi-hydroponic situation with LECA. So we're going to take a look at that for sure. But as you can see right here, they've got several varieties of alocasia cuprea to pick from. The one I just picked up though has the largest leaves. So I'm going to definitely do that. In terms of um, shopping at these big box stores, plant foldies, I would recommend looking for plants that are definitely healthy, no signs of pests, and um, active growth points, large leaves, and beautiful coloring. Now over here, Philodendron Painted Lady. So I already have a Philodendron Painted Lady um, that I bought from PETA's Planters, another local plant shop in Dallas, Texas. But for only $15.99, you get several different um, plants of... Um, philodendron painted lady so i feel like that's a good value there's about four plants of um, painted lady in this particular planter so only for 15.99 this one's going to be going home with me unless i find a better um painted lady but i didn't really intend to spend money today but i just can't help it when you find a good deal um and i've been so good about just taking care of my plants as of late the watering has been more consistent the pest control has been more consistent and so we're gonna definitely look at that and then again another alocasia this one is called the alocasia ivory coast for 15.99 and look at how beautiful the leaves are it definitely has a unique shape to it and it looks like the leaves get even more pronounced as um, it matures. Um, I will definitely buy this um, as well. And now I'm going to see if I can find a better 
um, version of it in this little pile of um, plants, beautiful plants. But um, needless to say, this is very promising. And that's the thing though, if you are able to go to a big box store and see that they've just released some plants, that is when they're most healthy. And I'm going to try to dig over here because it's going to be hard. And I've noticed that they have some more philodendron paint and ladies. Look at this one right here. Now this one though only has, I think, two plants versus the first one that I saw at the very top. Real really nice looking plant and i just like the the yellow foliage the neon colors of that leaf um if you've been following all of my plant shopping videos you know that i love neon color plants yellow plants are amazing and speaking of yellow plants so i already have so many philodendron ring of fire but there is no way i'm gonna be leaving this behind because it is not only healthy you can see that there is an active growth point but look at how that variegation is now with philodendron ring of fire you want to make sure that you are providing it with quite a bit of light um i would say that one has some really good genetics to begin with so i am gonna definitely buy that and i'm gonna just keep reaching over here i feel a little bit silly just reaching over i think i'm the only person in costco right now and this costco is super busy just reaching over and trying to find these plants um, but i don't mind doing that because if you were in my situation and you found a bunch of beautiful plants like this, I think you would be trying to dig through and see what plants you can find. Now, plant foldies, you can see that this philodendron painted lady is extremely yellow. Love that as well. Um, I will be doing a feature of my personal houseplant collection soon. I want to do a houseplant tour, but I also want to give you guys personalized houseplant um, collection curated um, versions as well. So I want to do a feature of like my neon colored plants, my dark foliage plants, my different types of alocasia that sort of thing so i can pivot a little bit away from big box or plant shopping but right now big box or plant shopping is where it's at and this alocasia ivory coast is where it's at now this one is definitely going to be going home with me look at how gorgeous that is right here it's got a really nice triangular shaped leaf and i do like the cream pot it's in Honestly, I wish the color, and I know I'm being a little bit picky, would be more of a matte gray color or even a pink color. I, I could totally do that. I don't really have um, those peach um, cream colors, but that's not a big deal considering that it is matte. And I do love the modern vibe that it has in terms of its shape. You know, when it comes to planters as well, plant foldies, I am really selective of that just because I want to make sure that there's some unity with my plant collection. But you can see right here, this is my basket so far. I've got me an Alocasia cupria, Alocasia ivory coast, and a um, philodendron ring of fire. Now, there are more Alocasia um, ivories. Honestly, I might go back and buy one of these. Now, this one right here is another beautiful philodendron um painted lady now plant foldies i've done some instagram um free uh, plant giveaways i'm curious would you be involved or um you know excited if i bought me like an alocasia cupria or one of these philodendron ring of fires or painted ladies to give out for free on instagram please leave that in the comments because i do want to give out some more free plants we'll see if that um you know gets some more engagement for everybody but as you can see right here plant foldies look at that that is a gorgeous looking alocasia um ivory coast now as far as alocasias we already know that um, PlantCon 2024 is going to be within our reach and I'll be seeing some variegated versions of it but I think this is probably going to be the alocasia I take home and the only reason why I say this is notice how the leaves are a lot larger you can see that it's got several little babies popping up so I'm going to go ahead and put that in my basket now the reason why I want to put that in my basket or um, cart is because a lot of these um, plants um, could be picked up and whenever you have a hot item or plants, whenever you go big box or plant shopping, there is a potential of somebody else picking up the plant. So I am being a little bit um, greedy today and just kind of taking the best plants to pick from. Um, call me silly, but that's really how it is. And you can see right here, another philodendron ring of fire. And this one has like a half moon leaf. That's probably the best variegation I've seen on philodendron ring of fires. Um, these are again by Wild Interiors curated collection so this is a little bit more um curated than just the typical wild interiors now wild interiors has also been um sourcing out a lot of these rare philodendron to walmart and under the name of um growers bench but look at that plant foldies what do you think about this philodendron ring of fire 
It'd be silly of me not to buy this, right? For only $15.99, that is an amazing deal. And when you think about philodendron ring of fire, that is one of those serrated type um, philodendrons that ab about four years ago was extremely expensive in the hundreds of dollars. And now you can go to a big box store like Costco and purchase it. And that's the reason why I plant foldies. It's so exciting for me to do these daily plant shopping videos. I know that a lot of times I will feature the same plants, but whenever you find plant finds like this for such a good value, I think it's really imperative that, you know, I have these co this content available for you to get people excited, to get you guys out there consuming all of these plants. Um, I'm sure that major cities will have Costco. So if you do have a Costco, leave it in the comment section if you do find it. And I was gonna ask plant foldies when you leave a comment in the comment section use the hashtag plants or hashtag grow folds that would be awesome just so that there is some more um, brand um, recognition on the channel but you can see right here plant foldies bromeliads now of all the bromeliads i um i like this white one because for some reason white blooms really um strike me as a um, like a very elegant looking flower and so that's the thing i like about that one and then this one right here is another bromeliad so here's the thing about bromeliads they do like more light so bright indirect light is definitely what they would thrive best with um as far as colors i just feel like if you give it more light it is going to give you the best coloration so this one particularly leans more so on the bloom but there are some bromeliads that have most of the foliage variegated with pinks and different unique colors so um it just depends on the the type of bromeliad so i don't know all of the species of bromeliads but i can tell you that these bromeliads for only 15.99 um, at costco is a really good deal they're super healthy i love the planter the planter alone is going to make it more um expensive if you were to buy this anywhere else and it's just exciting that costco always um has great value in general and that's the thing plant foldies when it comes to costco i just think that it is one of those plant um sources that we don't typically think of when we think about a wholesaler but yeah 15.99 plant foldies i mean i'm super excited um i did just arrive at this costco right at 10 a.m that's when they typically open and so whenever i do um like plant hunting or trying to find some plant finds i try to get to these stores as soon as they open for a couple of reasons number one i don't really want to run around with a bunch of crowds because as you can see i try my very best not to get people in my videos and number two, um, that's usually when they do plant restock. So there's just a lot of value when it comes to going early in the morning at a big box store. And you can see right here, $34.99, we got a Monstera Deliciosa. And I love the green form and I actually splurged um, or will splurge on a Monstera Deliciosa. I have two in my collection, one that I bought well, actually that I propagated years back from a Monstera Deliciosa, one of my original ones that I couldn't save from mealybugs. Um, even four years from now, I still have that propagation. It hasn't done well because I've actually um, kept it in my garage in very little light. And then I have one that's growing in straight hydroponics as well. But anyways, plant foldies to go back to all of these plants. You can see right here, this is an Aglonema Silver Bay, beautiful plant as well. And this Aglonema Silver Bay, I will say it's a pretty good price, $34.99. Um, you know, with Aglonemas, they tend to be in that price range just because they're a little bit more um, pricey. But in terms of the care, if you don't have an Aglonema, definitely get one because they can tolerate lower light conditions. They do not need to be watered as often. Actually, overwatering will kill them. And they just have beautiful colors. If you're going to ask me, though, you want to make sure that your Aglonema um, actually get more light to get better um, coloration. You can see right here, too. This one is for $19.99. This is another Aglonema. There's a little bit of cosmetic damage to it. But, you know, when with the, with the little browning or crisping off of that, what I would suggest plant foldies is taking... A a, um, a sharp pair of sanitized scissors and just cutting off those brown edges and then you wouldn't be able to tell it does not hurt the plant at all and it actually just gives you a better aesthetic um, i do that a lot with some of my variegated um, plants that um, have gotten brown edges or crisping especially on my monster thai constellations it's just challenging to grow these um, without them um, browning just because they are um, variegated plants but as you can see here even though there are only a couple of shelves of plants the amount of impact and value you get from costco is amazing like look at this um, philodendron painted lady and then for 15.99 that is amazing um 
Anytime there's a yellow plant, a um, neon colored plant, I definitely am a sucker for that. And what I like about Philodendron Painted Lady is if you look specifically at the stems as well, it's got a nice little um, color on the stems. Now this plant though, however, if you do not give it enough light, it will be more greenish tone and can potentially not, um, it can potentially even revert to green. So you just have to um, air with caution whenever you're getting these yellow colored plants. But as far as bromeliad, look at that beautiful plant. We've got some blooming anthuriums again, $15.99. So I feel like the best value today would be the four plants that I am going to be buying. I'm going to be buying an Alocasia cupria for sure, an Alocasia ivory coast, and two philodendron ring of fires, um, and a painted lady. Um, I did not expect to spend that much money today. Um, I even, you know, thought about getting bromeliads, but I thought if I'm going to get me the same price for this type of bromeliad, which I could find probably at Walmart for even less, I might as well go for these um, philodendron and just uncommon plants. But take a look at that beautiful bloom plant foldies. And I really just hope that you guys are excited to see some of these Costco plants. I tried to visit um, several Costco's. There was a clip that I wanted to insert um, for from another Costco, but um, I can't seem to find it just yet. So it's going to be featured somewhere else. But as you can see right here, plant foldies, I just finished shopping and look at how gorgeous my plants are. And I'm so excited to add these to my collection. Here's my Alocasia Ivory Coast, my Alocasia Cupria Red, and my Philodendron Ring of Fires, Philodendron Painted Lady. So we're going to definitely take a look at another Costco because a little birdie told me that there are other Costco skulls that have some massive and I say massive Monsera Thai constellation. So you can see right here, we're gonna go big box store plan shopping at the Costco in North McKinney, Texas. And you can see right over here, I just got into this Costco first thing in the morning and we're gonna see if they have it. I can already see that there is a bunch of plants right here and take a look at this. So Costa Farms for $24.99 has really pushed out a ton of these Ficus Audrey. Now I am gonna definitely buy a Ficus Audrey today um, from this particular Costco um, because I do have a ficus Audrey, but it has struggled um, It's because literally I gave it a lot of neglect, but this time around I am all about trying to stay on top of my routines I think this is a um, ficus Audrey I may end up getting and the reason being is notice at the top plant foldies We've got some new growth coming um, that's the thing whenever you're shopping for plants You want to look for signs of new growth new leaves unfurling um, This looks unfairly um, healthy and the thing about it is even though these plants look super healthy my next plant care tip would be to make sure that you spray down your plant with something um, that's like a pest preventative spray like maybe neem oil um, I use a DIY neem oil where basically it's called my um, foldy mist and it has done very well for me it kills pretty much any bug and it is organic but as you can see here plant foldies Costco is um, gotten a lot of plants from Costa Farms so I'm super excited about that and that's the thing about Costa Farms it is the biggest um, plant supplier for a lot of big box stores i'm super thankful that costa farms is um, sending out all of these plants and the thing about costa farms is um someday if I'm ever um, lucky enough to visit Costa Farms in Florida, I would love to feature that and just really see what that operation looks like in Florida for their plants. But as you can see here, $34.99, we've got some Alocasia, Monsera Deliciosas, we've got some Diphen Bacchia right over here. Super cool, and these are only for $34.99. Now these are sourced out by Mason Farms, which is actually a plant nursery located in New Mexico, um, and so I'm excited to see that as well. Um, you can see that they did have an alocasia um, of some sort. I don't know if this is, this doesn't look like an alocasia California, but needless to say, it's got such a large foliage leaf on it. And I'm super excited um, that they have it for only $34.99. That is a, such a good value for it. Um, I will be getting a Monstera, but you can see right here, this is it, Plant Foldies. This is it. Right here is the Monstera Thai constellations that people have been talking about. This is for, um, let's see how much it is. $42.99, but that is such a big Monstera Thai constellation. So typically um, I've found Monstera Thai constellations for $29.99. I've seen them for a little bit more, but for $42.99, you're getting one that's already fenestrating and there's quite a bit of it. So it looks like they just got this shipment. 
I probably should not be buying these must air tie constellations, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably buy like one or two. We'll see. But here is another Monstera Delicioso, just the $34.99 form. And you can see that if you were gonna pick between the Monstera tie constellation and the Monstera Deliciosa, which one would you pick? The one that's for $34.99, the green form, or the variegated form for $42.99? Plant Foldies, I would really love to see, um, hear your thoughts in the comment section. Use the hashtag Monstera if you do comment to my question. I would really love that. But as far as the um, plants and the value that they give, Costco is bringing it. I will be doing some more frequent visits at Costco just to see if they keep getting more plants because that's super exciting. I know that they had some um, some plants in the past where they were just kind of like bromeliads and succulents, but I'm glad that they are bringing out more of these plants. You can see right here, we've got a Monstera Thai constellation. I do like the variegation of this. Unfortunately, the new leaf that is unfurling has a little bit of cosmetic damage and that's probably due to stress or just um, being in transit. But you know, it's not a bad price at all considering that um, it is a pretty large price. What's interesting too is, and I noticed in the tag that um, it does mention that um it is a little bit more susceptible to root rot. So that's the thing about Monster Thai constellations, um, especially when they are super small in juvenile form, you do not want to overwater them. And if you want to plant them in a soil substrate, make sure it's fast draining and doesn't retain too much moisture. Now, as far as this um, Monster Deliciosa, look at how gorgeous this is. Um, even with the Monster Deliciosa, what I love about the green form is it's green. It's got some really nice um, leaf shape. It's got a natural shine to it. It. and even when I use my um, plant foldy neem oil spray that I spray on all my plants it's going to even enhance it but I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one as well for $34.99 so again plant foldies I know that I'm supposed to be on a budget for plant con 2024 it's literally nine days away from now and i'm excited to meet all of our plant foldy so if you are a local plant foldy let's meet up at pita's planters um booth um at around 11 a.m saturday august 31st i'll be wearing a grow folds t-shirt i will have grow folds t-shirts available for anybody that's interested and um it'll just be a fun time but plant foldies what do you think of this uh, monstera delicioso so you can see that there is actually a new leaf that's un about to unfurl so that's another plant that i'm going to go ahead and splurge in but have you ever just gone to a store you were not expecting it you were not even intending to buy plants and then all of a sudden you've um, created a huge hole in your wallet um, I've been doing that a lot lately and it's coming becoming a problem um, but I don't know it's just a whole process that I enjoy like this one right here I definitely want to um, buy this one because it's got some really nice variegation now plan foldies as far as monster Thai constellation if you do provide it with more light you will enhance the variegation I've seen that happen where I've actually flooded one with a lot of light so I was able to get more sectoral variegation like that but know that um, as far as the actual variegation it will never really revert for you because Monstera Thai constellation is believed to be what you call a tissue cultured plant. So the variegation is actually actually stable. I would recommend a Monstera Thai constellation. Um, it is an easy to care for plant. You know, any Monstera Deliciosa, that type of the, um, plant is easy to care, especially if you have quite a bit of light to provide it. Um, they are pretty vigorous growers. They will need a um, actual moss pole or some type of stake to hold them up because they have to climb up in order for them to um, actually I would say just to get larger leaves so I'm thinking of getting like two to three Monstera Thai constellations and having a massive um, plant like a massive uh, plant to put in a planter like I want to go ahead and plant three of them have um, have them all just pre um, pressed up against a um, pole and we'll see what that looks like I'll have a more full plant that would be super beautiful now as far as the risk of it actually outgrowing its pot I can guarantee you it's probably gonna outgrow its space but we're we'll get, we're gonna see I'm thinking that this monstera is probably gonna be in my master bedroom facing my my bed so we're gonna see what that looks like but as far as the price plant foldies again 40 $2.99. I'm having too much fun just looking at all of these plants. As you can see right here, I am trying to select the best um, plants to take home. Like this one actually is a good Monstera Deliciosa. You can see right here, this is at Monstera Thai Constellation. There is a little bit more of a, um, you know, a size difference, but as you can see, the Monstera Deliciosa, the green version, is going to be more, um, 
fast growing or just has a faster growth rate because it has just green foliage which means it can photosynthesize more so than the monstera thai constellation any variegated plant is going to be a little bit slower growing as compared to its green counterpart but like everybody says you know mon you know what is it variegated plants we can just be such suckers for it i have to remind myself though sometimes simplicity is just as beautiful so a green plant let's not sleep on the green plants because green you know it's in terms of just tranquility and peace just looking at the color green um, really gives me mindfulness it definitely grounds me and when we talk about plants and just what plants do plants are healing plants are really good for mental health plants bring people joy plants make um, people happy today i'm super happy to just feature this for you and i will say to all of my plant foldies that have been um, tuning into my live premiere chats really appreciate it if you're new to the channel and you happen to make it during a live premiere chat please don't be shy to say hello i love talking to everybody on the chat i do my very best to be on every single live premiere sometimes i'm actually out filming so i may not be able to to chat but in terms of um the community we have at grow folds the plant foldies always come full force and then you can see here as i turn around it looks like costa farms has also released a ton of trending tropicals so you talk about costa farms new releases they've got some trending tropicals coming around here and the price for these trending tropicals are $17.99 so it's definitely um more cost effective versus buying them at like walmart lowe's for like $19.98 or $20.84. These are $17.99 and I am gonna be buying myself an Alocasia Jacqueline. And this Alocasia Jacqueline, not this specific one, I'm gonna go through a couple of them. Um, I'm gonna try to um, grow it again. And the reason why I wanna try to grow it again is because Alocasia Jacqueline, it's such a beautiful Alocasia once it actually establishes. It is one of the more finicky Alocasias. It's gonna need a little bit more humidity. It's gonna need a little bit more bright indirect light. But I'm confident that if I convert these alocasia to semi-hydroponics, um, perhaps they will do better. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, actually convert to alocasia in LECA as well as PON. I would have preferred to grow them in PON, but I haven't been able to source out PON. So I'm just going to see about that as well as the alocasia silver dragon. So earlier this year, I actually bought alocasia silver dragon, alocasia Jacqueline from Walmart. Um, but through my neglect, and I will say this, I'm very transparent about some of my plant failures. Um, I just wasn't able to take care of them. I really didn't um, keep up with the watering. I left them in a plant room that I typically didn't really go into. I'm actually redoing that plant room to where I'm going to house all of my plants, but I'm going to ensure that my routines are better in terms of my plant care. But as you can see here, Al um, Alocasia Jacqueline, $17.99. And notice that the pot is exactly what I was asking Costa Farms to do. No um, textures, just a really matte finish, super... Um super modern and it's only for $17.99 so I love the new planters it kind of um, matches the um, wild interiors um, curated collection so you can see here again look at how simple that is I love that and then this is another Calathea this is a Calathea Dottie so a thing about a thing about all of my Calatheas even my most um, recent Calathea that I had growing in hydroponics for some reason has just um became unhappy and it's just not doing well and i don't know what it is about calatheas i don't know if there's just not enough humidity for it or what um exactly happened but that um actually all my calatheas are just not doing well now ficus audrey again 24.99 such a good price for it because you'll go to some other stores and that'll be like 50 plus dollars and if you notice with the ficus audrey it has been pruned to where it's actually encouraged more new growth more shoots to where it looks more like a tree form um i like that a lot and i've actually seen a lot of japanese um plant collectors do a lot with the ficus um audrey they've bent some of their their um the trunks they've done a lot to where it's more like a bonsai and that's something i want to um, explore because i love bonsai as well if you look through some of my older videos on the plant foldy you know for my plant foldies you guys can check out some of my bonsai collections as well as my origami so i do origami um, paper cranes i fold them every single day my goal is to fold um, 1 million paper cranes in my lifetime. I am, have been folding paper cranes for a good seven years, going on eight every single day. So we're going to see if that happens. But as you can see here, plant foldies, um, there's just so much joy for me to see um, a big box store like Costco, 
featuring Monstera Thai constellations. It just brings me hope that indeed um, all of these plants that used to be super expensive, unattainable for the average plant lover like myself, now can go to a big box store and find something massive like this. I'm glad that this is more readily available. The day that Monstera Albo, just a white variegated form, becomes a little bit more like this Monstera Thai constellation is going to be super exciting. I'm hopeful that even more of these variegated and uncommon rare plants start shooting into the market. And then you can see right here, I am actually going to be going to HEB. This is another favorite grocery store of mine that I like to go. Um, it is literally five minutes away from where I'm based at. And we're going to see if they have any rare or uncommon plants. It's just going to be a quick trip. But let's take a look at that. Now with HEB, this one is um, located in McKinney, Texas, right off of Custer Road. So you just have to go on Custer Road if you're a local plant foldy. This is literally across the street from a Kroger marketplace that I typically shop. And take a look at this. Wow, plant foldies, take a look at this. They have the um, philodendron strawberry shakes back in stock. And look at how massive these um these leaves are like i'm super tempted to buy this but i've already spent so much money today that i am not going to go splurge on this one unfortunately unless you guys want to send me a super sticker um send me a little monetary tip on these videos every single video you can just click that little um, dollar sign and send me a tip if you like definitely not asking for that but if you feel inclined to help me with my plant budget that'd be awesome but Anyways, plant foldies, look at this. This is so gorgeous and it is for $55.98. I don't have the philodendron strawberry shake, but my good friend um, Steven from I Lift Plants actually bought one of these philodendron a while back. We talked about just sharing plant cuttings and propagating it versus just buying it. So I'm just gonna hold off and wait till his is readily available for him to just give me a cutting and then I'll just get that. But I love this variegated domesticatum and I've um, purchased a domesticatum before, really gorgeous plant, super uncommon and rare. Um, but the fact that they have this at a grocery store, plant foldies at a grocery store, you definitely need to check out um, HEB if you're in Texas. This is unfortunately a grocery store that is only in Texas, but look at how gorgeous the leaves are. Like that is amazing. And the, the variegated domesticanum that I have actually is doing well. It's actually growing in my kitchen window on, on my kitchen, in front of my kitchen counter. I was able to actually do a plant giveaway and send that to a lucky winner in Arizona and it's doing well. Now there's another grocery store I wanted to visit and it is so beautiful um, this morning as well. This one is Trader Joe's. This one is off of El Dorado in McKinney, Texas, right next to um, Highway 75. So we're going to take a look at that intersection um, um, 75. Then you can see right here, these are a bunch of foliage plants for only $7.99. What I like about um, Trader Joe's is you get a lot of value for the plant. So like right here, $7.99, you can get this plant right here, which is in a five and a half inch planter with a ceramic planter, actually. Um, this is a pink syngonium. I'm not sure exactly what the syngonium plant ID is, but what I can tell you is, notice how the leaves have like half unfurled, like not all of the leaves have unfurled. Here's the thing about um, syngonium specifically, when they don't unfurl. To, for them to unfurl, it's because they are, um, to get it to unfurl, you may need to just increase the humidity level. So if you put like, if you put that syngonium in the bathroom where you shower and just get some more humidity to it, or if you have a humidifier, a small one and put it right next to it, that should aid in getting the leaf to unfurl. Here is a Ficus Elastica Shivriana, beautiful plant, $7.99. And I tell you with this Ficus Shivriana, like three to four years ago, I even tinkered about buying just a one leaf, um, one node cutting for $200 from somebody on Instagram. I'm so glad that I had better sense to do that because again, plant foldies, when it comes to these rare and uncommon plants, and I'm gonna say this, like for instance, these variegated alocasias that I'm going to see at PlantCon, all of these variegated philodendron, monsteras, things of that nature, if you don't have the budget to purchase that plant right then and there, hold off from it. Do not feel bad because plants are always in production. And while there is a high resurgence of demand for plants, there's going to be a source where you can find them for a little bit more cost effective pricing. So just keep that in mind. But plant foldies, in terms of value, again, I talk about big box or plant shopping, grocery store plant shopping, Trader Joe's. 
Trader Joe's is all over in many states. Definitely check it out. You can see that that is a Rodeo oyster plant. We've got another Calathea of some sort here. And you know, the thing about Calatheas is I think that they are the biggest heartbreakers when it comes to plants because they're so gorgeous. And it's just so unfortunate that their beautiful foliage, their different varieties, they just for me, do not do well. I have not been able to successfully grow them long term. Now, as far as philodendron, philodendron right here, $7.99. I don't know what particular philodendron this is. It's just a green form, but philodendron are super easy to take care of generally. And that's another plant that I would recommend for anybody that is wanting to grow plants um, indoors um, as a house plant. Philodendron are a good source to pick. And then you can see right here, I don't know what it is about olive trees making it into big box stores. In grocery stores but we have an olive tree here now that is also i believe for 7.99 we got another one right here let's take a look at this look at how beautiful this is right here i like that as well and i don't know if you're a fan of olives i like olives um not the biggest fan but i will eat olives um let me know in the comments i know that i um use vir extra virgin olive oil to do a lot of my cooking and then you can see right here um we have some chrysanthemums so again as late summer hits and um, fall comes around, you will see a lot of chrysanthemums. These ones are already in full bloom. And like I mentioned in some of my other big box store videos um, this week, you wanna buy chrysanthemums that are not really in full bloom unless you wanna just admire them for maybe like a week or two. You get longer blooms when they're still bud, you know, still in the bud form and haven't fully bloomed. That's the same thing with Philanopsis orchid. So if you're gonna buy Philanopsis orchid at like Trader Joe's for instance, which they are known to have have some gorgeous orchids um you want to find an orchid that hasn't fully bloomed or at least all of the buds haven't fully bloomed but you can see right here these are so pretty and these particular um chrysanthemums i will usually find at grocery stores like kroger as well and you can see right here they have another rodeo oyster plant and again this is for 7.99 i really like the look of um, this one because you can see that it has more pink variegation as compared to the other ones. That one is really influenced by the amount of light you provide it. So the more light you provide that um, Rodeo oyster plant, the more pink streaking you're gonna get. But as I pan away over here, and this is straight in front of the entrance, you can see that there are so many um, awesome plants for such a good value. And then I'm gonna go also look at some of the cactus and succulents that are available at um, Trader Joe's, that's another um, plus. Like these are in terracotta planters for only $6.99. Look at all of the different varieties. Again, plant foldies. Unfortunately, I am just not versed with um, cactus. Um, and that's really because I haven't really taken the time to really learn it. Like whenever I do my big box or plant shopping videos, I'll pan over and just show you the cactus or succulents. Um, I'm gonna do a better job of reading plant IDs, so maybe that might stick with me. But for some reason, cactus and succulents, they're just a little bit more challenging in terms of identifying them because they have just such similar textures, coloration. There's just a lot more um, similarities for me to just um, actually pinpoint which one's gonna be um, you know, the, the, the plant ID. Now, as far as cactus and succulents, again, basic care tips would be all of them or the majority of them will need um, bright light. Um, some will need full sun. So you just have to do your research on that. Um, and in terms of watering, all succulents do not want to be watered often. What you want to do is you want to water them um, when the soil is completely dry. If you're going to repot them, you want to make sure that you have a really good succulent mix. I would recommend using bone size soil, which basically is like pumice and a bunch of like very gritty um, soil substrate for it to be fast draining. And if you're gonna water succulents, especially if you have small succulents or cactus, I would recommend bottom watering them. And what I mean by bottom watering them is getting like a saucer, filling it up with water and then sticking the entire plant um, into the saucer so that way the drainage holes can just suck up the water from the top on the bottom rather than um, actually taking a watering can and getting the foliage wet you really don't want to do that especially for succulents or cactus because if the water stays within the grooves of the succulent or cactus um, it could potentially rot it because it may not dry out completely so you just want to make sure that you keep your succulents 
quite dry um it's actually safer to do that there's some other plants as well like for instance like zz plants um sansevera trifasciata or what you call snake plants that um like to be more so on the drier side but you can see here plant foldies as i pan around and show you these these are all for 6.99 but they're super cute now we also have these um cactus um combinations for $7.99 so you get three different types of cactus that's super exciting as well right here we've got some edible chili peppers for $7.99 that's super cute really like that a lot this is an organic macho pepper I love that as well look at that red pepper and you know I'm actually a fan of spicy foods these days I would say about seven years ago I just never really ate spicy food but I'll tell you capsaicin is really good and it's really healthy for you and then over here plant foldies we've got some tiny succulents for $2.99 so these are different types of crusala or jade plants and the thing about jade plants again is it's one of those plants that I could easily recognize like this one right here might be um, the golem I really like the look of that as well as far as um, Crusala, I just love the look of that. Um, this is another um, common jade plant. And the thing about jade plants is it's one of the easier succulents to take care of. And as you can see, plant foldies, we've got different varieties of succulents. Not sure what this particular succulent is, but I do like that it has a terracotta type pot. I love the gray. I love how it's matte and it's just a really nice classic pot. And over here we have some more succulent uh, mini planters. This one is in a shallow terracotta planter. And I do think that terracotta planters are the best planters to grow your succulents because terracotta planters in general will actually absorb a lot of the moisture. That way your soil actually dries out a little bit faster. That one is only for $5.99. And when we talk about value in cheap, inexpensive plants, um, Trader Joe's is another place I would highly recommend. Like this one is a beautiful succulent arrangement um, for only $7.99. Um, that is such a good price considering they've already done the groundwork of getting a beautiful succulent arrangement. Um, look at the different varieties that they have. I love that purple or lavender looking succulent um, right over here in the middle. And then we also have that ghostly looking one, that minty color right over here. I believe those are Echeverias. Plant Foldies, let me know if that's the actual plant ID for that. I don't know the specifics, but I'm trying to do better. And then right over here, we have another succulent arrangement. So we have a crusala or jade plant right in the middle is a kalanchoe and then the other succulents i'm not 100 percent sure what the plant id is for that um, but what i do know is these are inexpensive plants so if you're into succulents um, definitely go to trader joe's to purchase that and then for my plant foldies especially those in the dallas fort worth area please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i've noticed that some of our viewers may not have been subscribed to the channel and when you do definitely hit the notification bell on for all notifications not the ones that are just catered to you specifically that way you're actually updated every time i um premiere a video i know some of my videos haven't been as consistent in terms of the time so i'm hoping that maybe just getting that notification bell on will give you a little bit more um notice but as you can see here plant foldies the um the next place i'm gonna go visit is the lowe's off of um highway 121 in mckinney texas I'm just going to do a quick um, loop around just to see what plants they have available here. Um, I visited this about a week or so ago just to see what plants they had. They had a bunch of gorgeous looking um, hanging baskets from Costa Farm. So we're just going to see if they have any more plant restocks. Again, I love filming in the morning and I happen to have a little bit of time to do that. You can see right here, they do have a shipper of just live transplants. Um, I will say live transplants are just amazing because they have such unique planters. And for the most part, they have some really stylish plants. Like this one right here is in a self-watering planter. This one is a philodendron brantianum. Um, what I like about the philodendron brantianum is it does 
have some beautiful metallic looking foliage the thing about it is though it does need a little bit more humidity and you notice how like the new growth is i'm um, like struggling to climb up something notice how the leaves have actually gotten smaller this particular philodendron definitely needs to climb onto something because that is the natural um, growth habit it has in the wild you'll get larger leaves that way and then this one right here is another live transplanter um this one's just a conventional zz plant now with zz plants i would say that that's probably Probably the easiest house plant to grow because it can tolerate lower light conditions it does not need to be watered often it doesn't really get a lot of pests and it actually thrives in neglect so that's just three pluses for that particular plant and you can see right here plant foldies we've got a pachira aquatica by live trends again the only critique i have for live trends and i say this in all my videos i'm pretty transparent about it is i wish they that they didn't really utilize a lot of that um that fake moss um or that sphagnum moss type look um for the tops um the top dressing of the planter i would prefer either some more like either like very fine orchid bark something of that nature but not the um the actual fake moss because i feel like if you water the top of the soil it'll hold more moisture in and that could potentially rot the roots now again with self-watering planters they are the rave they are um, very trendy these days because it just makes plant care easier you just fill up the water reservoir and that little stick actually pulls up that moisture into the soil substrate you can see right here this is an epipremnum arium neon pothos i love that neon plants are a thing for me as well as this philodendron heteracium brazil now with the philodendron heteracium brazil it is another easy to care for plant um, I will say to get better variegation, you want to make sure that you are actually um, giving it quite a bit of light. You'll get better variegation that way. The, um, the actual coloration of any philodendron heteracium is really influenced by the amount of light. So if you're able to provide it with quite a bit of bright indirect light or bright light in general, it's going to do well. Now, full sun will kill it, but bright light is going to definitely give it some better um, coloration. But you can see here, plant foldies, I'm taking my time. And then this is a really cool plant find. Look at that. Variegated marantha right here. I love that. And I actually have one growing in hydroponics, just straight water. Look at that variegation, so pretty. And you know, when it comes to maranthas or prayer plants, they're a little bit less finicky than calatheas. I've noticed that they're a little bit more hardy. Same thing with stromanthes. So um, I actually wouldn't mind buying another variegated marantha or just a marantha plant in general. This one right here is by Live Trends, and I do like how it's got a matte finish. I love that it's just got a very simple shape, and it's just it looks very modern. Um, I, I typically don't see that, so that's a really nice plant find right there. You can see right here, this is a Diphenbachia, and notice how this Diphenbachia is mostly green. Now with Diphenbachia, you need to give it a lot of light. It really likes light, and it does like humidity. If you can provide humidity and a lot of light, that will do well for you indoors. And then we have a um, Sansevieria um, bird's nest right over here by Life's Trends as well. You can see that it's um, actively growing. You can see that it's about to push out some more new growth, and it has a couple of new pups from growing from the side so that's the thing i like about sansevieria the best way to propagate it is for just um to wait for it to grow new um little babies and separate it from the mother plant and you can see right here again these are for 14 dollars 98 um this is another diphenbachia of some sort from live trends um i like the planter as well i do prefer the more simple um no texture planters from live trends but this one's not a bad one as all and you can see plant foldies i've um, visited several big box stores um in this video so i hope you've enjoyed it so far if you made it this far and i'm super thankful if you did please make sure you are hitting that like button for this video i cannot tell you how much it helps um, my channel grow it actually signifies that there is engagement for the youth for youtube to push it out to more plant lovers like yourself and what um, better way to support me by just hitting that like button i also enjoy um comments in the comment section i know that you guys are pretty active in the live chats but if you're able to leave comments in the comment section that would be amazing if you do leave a comment use the hashtag plants or hashtag grow folds or hashtag plant foldy so that way we have a little bit more brand recognition and unison for our community but you can see right here these are the new planters that live trends has produced they use a lot of um, hawarthias and 
and I've said this before, I'm just surprised that Hawarthias are succulents that can tolerate lower light conditions. Super cool that they can tolerate lower light conditions. And I do like the um, colors that Live Trends uses. Um, you know, those creams, those bold um, golden yellows. It's a really nice look. And then we have some more Live Trends self-watering planters. Now this one right here is another Dracaena and you can see the price right here is for $14.98. Really like the um, simplistic look of it. And I think for modern um, planters, you need to go with Live Trends. Um, I think that Live Trends is definitely for a more curated look um, for more plant styling. It's really based on like maybe more simplistic um, collections. But for me, I could buy Live Trend plants all day, every day, just because they have such good value for their planters. I mean, look at this right here. Beautiful Pachira Aquatica, very elegant looking. And that planter, while it has, um, you know, texture on the, the, the actual planter, I love it. It works and it's got a very simple shape. I love that simplicity. I always feel like less is more in many instances, especially when it comes to like plant styling and plant design. Um, you know, plant foldies, leave in the comments if you agree. Now, as far as my plant jungle, um, I wish I could actually downsize my plants, but you know, whenever you go to a big box store or whenever you're filming daily plant shopping videos for, you know, a beautiful plant community like the Grow Folds um, Plant Foldies community, you are so tempted to purchase plants. Like I've seen this planter before. I love this philodendron. This is a philodendron moonlight, for instance, but just me being tempted to purchase this is highly likely because I love the color. I love the shape and it's a self-watering planter. There's there's just so many pluses when it comes to it. But again, it's one of those um, situations where you want to hold off, especially if you are on a plant budget. I'm actually curious, Plant Foldies, if you budget out um, how many, how much money you spend on plants um, on a monthly or weekly basis. I probably need to do that just to make sure that my finances are aligned. You know, my goal is to try to retire within 10 to 12 years. That way I can actually be a full blown like plant um, foldy parent to where I could just 10 plants all day. My um, my initial goals is just to really grow this community, perhaps um, get even more passive income from YouTube um, and to the plant foldies that actually show up every single evening. I, I mean, I can't tell you how thankful I am. Um, I utilize a lot of my plant shopping videos to just really um, talk about plants, talk about my thoughts, um, utilize it as more of like a personal blog as I show you guys these beautiful plants. Um, I, I feel like my way of actually filming plant shopping videos is if you are just walking alongside with me and I'm literally talking your ear off. If you meet me in person, you'll understand what I mean. I'm a very talkative person. Now, as far as a face reveal, I'm a little bit shy when it comes to that, at least on YouTube or social media. I kind of want to keep my uh, my personal life a little bit more private. But if you ever run into me um, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area filming, please say hello. I've already run into quite a bit of plant foldies in person. You guys are awesome. And I'm actually surprised that you were able to recognize me without actually seeing me. Some folks have just literally said that, you know, my voice is a little bit more distinct and they kind of recognized me once I started talking. So that was kind of cool. But as you can see, plant foldies, live trends always comes through with these plants. All of these are self-watering planters again for $14.98. This one is a ficus elastica ruby. And with ficus elastica, any ficus plants, I will continue to say this in every single video. You'll probably hear me say that tomorrow for tomorrow's video. They need bright indirect light. And then also this ficus ginseng right here. I like the look of it. Um, I used to have one as like a bonsai form look at how cute that um that codex is or that really thick um bottom trunk i like that a lot it's one of those plants though that um, there's only so much you can do with the codex and sometimes I feel like the codex is just very harsh in terms of how they just hacked off the top and just produce more little branching there. I wish that there would be a way to maybe smooth the, um, the top cut out but you know that might just be me being super picky. Sometimes I can be a little bit um, more critical ab about certain plant expectations but you know when it comes down to it we have our own personal expectations and that's okay. And then plant foldies, you can see here, I didn't even know that they sold grow lights like this at Lowe's. So that's interesting for $19.99. Um, when you ask me about like certain grow lights that I use, so some grow lights that I actually use are um, Miracle Grow, or not actually Miracle Grow, um, General, 
GE um, grow lights that I purchased from Amazon, but I have really been on the Sansi grow lights that I bought on Amazon. And I'm super thankful because Sansi um, grow lights have actually reached out to me to do another partnership or collab. They gave me some free grow lights to feature in one of my future videos. I will have a promo link um, located at the bottom. Um, if you ever want to buy grow lights for Sansi, I think you can save 52% off of your purchase. So that's a really good deal. Now, plant folies, as you can see right here again, um, we have another table full of live trends planters. It looks like they have a surplus of planters. These are new ones, and you can see here, this one is um, for $18.98. This is a ZZ Zenzi, and I like that they're utilizing plants that are more easy care plants, because I feel like for live trends, um, you know, for the most part, I think that any plant um, parent will buy um, plants from live transplanters but i think a lot of it is also based for like very stylish like office settings um desktop settings and i like that they have plants that are easier to take care of because if you actually sell a plant to somebody and that that the plant thrives i think there is more engagement for somebody to actually want to keep buying plants and that's the thing plant foldies whenever you are starting your plant collection um buy easy to care for plants um watch my videos you can see I um, try to recommend plants that are a little bit more um, easy to care for because when you have an easy to care for plant, you're gonna get a little bit more joy. You're not gonna be as frustrated or disappointed or a combination of feelings. I know that whenever I look at this Calathea, for instance, I know that I cannot um, keep that Calathea alive. This is one of those plants that has um, really um, given me a lot of struggles. It's actually stressed me out. It's actually made me feel inadequate as far as like a plant parent. But then I have to um, slow, slow down, really think about um, what happened with the plant and just really assess um, whether I just had the right growing environment. For me, it's really the investment of time for Calatheas. You really have to stay on top of it and then also humidity levels. So that's one of those plants that I just know in my current growing conditions for my home, I'm definitely gonna just steer away from that. I say that in all of my videos, but I think the reason why I say it quite often is because I wanna make sure that the plant foldies, the people that watch this channel understand that it's not always about you, it's literally the plant, whether it, the plant is really suited for our growing environment. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of us who grow plants um, want to grow them because we want to see them thrive that's really the end result i don't think we purchase plants like a, a, a big box store like this beautiful ficus lorata for instance um with the intent to send them to plant heaven to keep to make them unalive to just kill them like that that's not the 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 end goal but sometimes that's what happens to plants now i have been seeing this anthurium this is a anthurium sebrum um, i think that that's um super bum is what you call it and that's another live trend self-watering planter beautiful texture and notice how it's just a green um, form plant there's nothing wrong with green form plants just to send the standard green forms those plants actually will do better for most um the general public just because they're a little bit easier to take care of versus a plant that has a lot of variegation um now this plant right here i thought was an easy to care for plant but it is not this is an alpina plant um and it's one of those plants that can get very crispy quickly. You know, somebody mentioned to me that it is actually drought tolerant. It is not. You wanna make sure you stay on top of the watering. And that's another thing. As far as plant care tips, I don't wanna say that my plant care tips are 100% the best or 100% accurate. I think plant care tips really varies um, um, from person to person, from, um, you know, growing environments. So I just wanna make sure you take uh, my plant care tips as somewhat of a beginner's guide and then you just go along with what works for you but as you can see here plant foldies I love looking at these hanging baskets by Costa Farms again I'm super impressed that Costa Farms is able to just churn out so many different plants make it very accessible for um, a lot of our plant lovers you know I find myself wanting to get a lot of these hanging baskets you know, whenever I do plant shopping videos and as soon as I'm done actually editing this video, I'm going to go out and film. But I just like searching for these hanging baskets um, because for me, I 
go to these big box stores not only to like film plants to show you guys these plants but just to go admire plants that i can't necessarily grow in my collection that's another way to where you can still enjoy the plant but you don't necessarily need to take it home um, a lot of these hanging baskets i would love to just have like hanging baskets everywhere but the thing about hanging baskets is it does leave a pretty substantial footprint in a space like i would love to be able to take this dog tail cactus for instance home but the more things that you have hanging in your ceilings it kind of makes your space a little bit smaller and i used to have a very open and wide space home but i've inundated it with so many plants like if you were to see a house plant tour of my living room for instance you would literally look like you just walked into a jungle and i know um plant foley shop been asking for um these house plant tours so we're gonna take definitely take a look at it now this polonia watermelon plant I need to buy and I love the fact that it's in a six and a half inch planter so it's sixteen dollars and ninety eight cents I'm hoping that you can actually I can actually find one on clearance for 50% off because for some reason this plant has really gravitated to me like I don't know if it's just the leaves I don't know if it's the waxy texture I don't know what it is but I feel like this plant would be an easy ca to care for plant I recently made a reel about it and I'm just thankful that like even Costa Farms um, was able to feature it on their um, Instagram stories i really appreciate the support that costa farms has given me about just even giving me some social media presence on instagram um again this plant though i i love and there's two of them actually at this lows that i was debating on getting but again you can easily go crazy and just buy every single plant like if you spent a whole day going to like big box stores and local nurseries you could probably drop a good four or five hundred dollars on plants and for me that's just not sustainable i don't think that's necessarily responsible on my end but you know that that's that's a, the reality i think that um, plant foldies i mean look at this right here anthuriums again like this beautiful anthurium 1398 it's a pretty good value and you know costa farms tends to send you very healthy looking plants and whenever you go to a big box store like lowe's if you're lucky enough to go when they just restock the plants that is the best time because that is when the plants are the most healthy um i would say the longer they stay at a big box store in general their 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 health tends to decline because they don't always get the best um care from the big box store and that's not a knock at the big box store it's really the reality of it big box stores tend to have um you know other priorities but but, you know for the big box stores that um keep up with their plans kudos to you like i would even say that this big box store this particular lowe's and the majority of big box stores that i visit out in the dallas fort worth area have some healthy looking plants there's been very rare instances where the plants just did not look healthy so i'm just excited about that but you can see here plant foldies this is a pothos um alplesimum or Epipremnum Alplesium um, Silver Streak Pothos. I love the look of that as well. Costa Farms Trending Tropical Plant. And that one is for $19.98. Self-watering planter. You know, in terms of my plant foliage that I prefer, I love dark foliage plants. I love neon yellow plants. I love pink plants. And I love metallic Silver Streak plants. And I just love um, green plants. Just, there's just... I just love plants in general and you can tell that um, plant foldies because i'm literally that silly crazy person who will literally go out every single day to film one hour plant shopping videos and just talk about plants so you can see here again skindapsis trubii moonlight that's another silver plant um that we have and with skindapsis trubii moonlight it's a very common um trending tropicals plant but it is another plant that i will eventually get i just need to find um when we find another one that's actually on sale and you can see we've got an alocasia black velvet there um i do like the look of an alocasia black velvet um, i'm hoping that i can find an alocasia variegated black velvet pink um someday now with my alocasias i'm hoping to do a video where i show you how to transition alocasia into leca and just a couple of updates if you haven't seen my videos i actually updated my um green spaces id video um, where i imported plants from green spaces id which is an indonesian um plant importer my um my anthurium is in leca my philodendron bilitiae is in leca and they're doing just fine um super excited about that so i am starting to grow some plants more semi hydroponics i'm hoping to try pond but it's just a matter of actually getting it sourced out it looks like amazon tends to be sold out a lot of these sellers tend to sell out and i can understand why there's a lot of good um reviews about pond but you 
know, with plants that are a little bit more finicky on the watering, I think pond might work for me. Now here is a Sansevieria moonlight. And when you talk about a beautiful Sansevieria, look at how beautiful that minty leaf is. Now here's the thing. This Sansevieria can tolerate lower light conditions, but if you give it lower light, it's not gonna be as ghostly mint as this one. So you wanna provide it with quite a bit of light. And that goes to show again, plant foldies, that more light means better um, coloration, better growth um, rate, and just a healthier looking plant. You know, plants in general need light to be able to feed itself, to be able to um, actually photosynthesize. Now, I don't know how I feel about this plant foldies, and I've shown you this before. These are actually popping up more so at like lows. Um, these are trendy, not these, these are just, um, what is it? Combination planters by Costa Farms of different types of plants. So you can see we've got a Syngonia white butterfly here, and then we also have a Dracaena marginata, and then also a Rex begonia. Um, you know, maybe for gifts, that might be something that um, I would delve into. But as far as like a personal plant collection, I don't know if I really like combination planters. And then you can see here um, more Haworthias by um, Live Trends, like Haworthias. As many times as I've seen it, I'm just surprised I haven't picked it up. We've got some more Sansevieria starfish um, right over here in self-watering planters. That's actually going to make it even more easy when you have a plant that doesn't even need a lot of water in a self-watering planter. And then we also have this right here, if I can get this up. This is an Epipremnum arium um, pearls and jade pothos. I don't want to knock over that. And that's the thing. Sometimes whenever I'm at a big box store, I tend to have to be a little bit more careful in how I handle these plants. But I wanted to show you this pothos plant. And the reason why I want to show you that is, and this is only for $22.98 in a terracotta planter with a macrame handle. Look at how beautiful the variegation is, right? But if you look closely at the variegation, the way you can tell in Enjoy Pothos versus a Pearls and Jade Pothos is Pearls and Jade has um, lighter, more pastel green on it. And you can notice that there are lots of speckling splotches of um, variegation. The Enjoy Pothos has more like distinct, very hard contrast green and white variegation. Um, what is interesting is though that the Pearls and Jade Pothos tends to grow a little bit faster than the enjoy and it has slightly larger leaves it's still a slower growing pothos as compared to say the golden pothos the neon pothos the marble queen pothos but pothos plants in general if you're talking about an easy to care for plant this is another plant that i would recommend it's another plant that i feel like everybody should add in their collection um, they call it a basic plant but basic plants are a plant that we all need to add in our collections just because basic means easy care. Easy care means you're not gonna send a plant to plant heaven. Easy care means you'll be able to like check out your plants, update them, and just really enjoy the new leaf unfurling, the new variegation it pushes out, all of that. And then again, plant foldies, um, live trends, um, ceramic planters, hanging baskets. I love that as well. Look at how gorgeous that neon pothos is. Classic plant, another plant that I would say you all need to add to your collection. And that particular hanging basket by Live Trends is a really nice um, color. And then you can see right here, Urban Jungle also has some hanging baskets of pothos. This is a Marble Queen pothos. That one is for $14.98. But plant foldies, as you can see right here, I'm just quickly panning around just to see updates. Um, there's not quite a bit of like plant restocks, but what I do like is the fact that they try to merchandise their plants where it's still full and impactful. I mean, you can see here, this is another um, Polonia, I think that's how you pronounce it, watermelon, $16.98. And plant foldies, I'm just curious, would you buy this plant? Would you add this plant? There's something about this plant that makes me want to purchase it. Also, alongside with the Polynesian Ivy, I, I just like that it has a, a unique texture. Maybe it's because it's got that silver blue aquamarine color about it. I don't know. And I feel like this plant would be an easy to care for plant. I don't know a lot about it, but I do feel like it also would be easy to propagate. And so again, plant foldies, when it comes down to certain plants that attract me, I look for foliage. I look for easy care. I also look for um, propagation um, potential because I love propagating plants. Sometimes I over propagate, but that's a, that's a way to grow your plant collection. Like you can just multiply your plant collection. I remember when I um, propagated so many pothos plants, golden pothos, 
both those plants and I was okay with it because I had a whole jungle of both those but this particular plant I um I will definitely purchase it's just going to be at the right time and then over here guys on um, plant foldies this is a Syngonia Maria notice that this Syngonia Maria is a little bit darker and this one is also by Urban Jungle now this particular Syngonia has more of a chocolate brown tone especially when you provide it with quite a bit of light so again plant foldies um that's one of the running themes of this video is make sure you are providing your plants with quite a bit of bright light in order for them to get the bear the best variegation and you know if you don't have the lighting um conditions i would recommend getting some really good quality grow lights now the one particular grow light i want to try is soltech grow lights so if you have had um, gotten some soltech grow lights let me know if that really works for you i know my sansi grow lights um, are doing very well for me and i actually have them set on my alexa timer so that's a really good deal as well but as you can see here plant foldies you can see that we have um this bird this black rabbit's foot fern and it's really cool in a little planter and then these are all of the orchid bark uh, mixes that i use to mix into my actual soil mixes to make it a little bit more chunky and then over here plant foldies is a silver dragon alocasia by urban jungles this one is also for 13 dollars 98 now for urban jungle planters like this they typically are for $13.98 this one right here is a peperomia obtusifolia marble beautiful plant as well love the variegation and the variegation becomes even more intense when you give it quite a bit of light this is one of the more easy to care for plants it's another plant i would recommend growing in a plant collection um, i used to have one and this is another plant that you can um, neglect and it's a little bit more forgiving um, but just as, as far as neglect when i mention neglect it doesn't mean don't look at the plant for an entire month unless it's a succulent or cactus um, that's where I made the mistake on a lot of my aglonema is that I, I ended up just like basically killing them because they just didn't get any care. Plant care doesn't mean full neglect. It means you still have to have some routine around it. And in plant foldies, you can see right here. So this is actually a plant that has a combination of like enjoy pothos and pearls and jade. You'll notice that this one right here has some enjoy. You can see right in the middle that leaf that has just green and white. And then you'll see some of the leaves have some speckling. That's what makes it a little bit more challenging to find some of these pothos. I do like combination pothos plants. I'm thinking about taking a bunch of like pothos cuttings and um, doing a combination planter of different varieties but love that i actually love that hanging basket i'm so tempted to purchase it but i feel like i can get a better deal I, I was able to see that at a grocery store for like five dollars and i regret not purchasing it and you can see right here this is actually a pretty established black rabbit's foot fern notice how it is it's got that like furry leaf some people will say that they look like tarantula um legs i would rather just look at it as like furry you know black rabbit's foot i don't know but it is a cool looking um planter as well it's, it's a nice fern and some people say that that fern's not as finicky as most ferns so um that's a good thing and you can see right here again plant foldies we've got some Epipremnum arium pearls and jade pothos notice how that there is a green um, jade pothos it looks like some of that plant has started to revert so you have to make sure especially with these variegated pothos or pothos in general give it light people say that they are on low light tolerant they are but if you keep them in low light conditions they can potentially revert all the way back to just being green um, so that's just one of those things i will say for the enjoy pothos that's probably the most stable pothos that you will get so if you don't give it quite a bit of light, it's just going to grow even a lot slower. So you just have to be mindful of that. And then here is a Dracaena Masangiana right here. Um, I just say that, you know, this is pretty much a propagation. So if you want to like have a nice propagation station, I suppose you can spend that. But, you know, for $18.98, I think that that's a little pricey for it. Um, you could probably get some better propagation stations um, elsewhere, but it is a nice looking stylish um, propagation station. And then again, right here, look at this. Like maybe I should have bought one of these actually plant foldies. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I do love the color of that red planter right there. I think that that is absolutely stunning. And again, and it's one of those plants that I just feel like would grow very well for me. It's a gorgeous looking plant. It's a plant that is easy to care for. It's a plant that is readily available too. And that's another thing, plant foldies. When it comes to pothos plants, some people will not really get into pothos. They're more into the more rare and aeroids, but 
I mean, why would you not want to get a beautiful variegated plant like that? And then I'm just going to keep walking here. I'm almost done with this video. I, I feel like I've gotten a lot of this done, but you can see that we have a Hoya Yetii. So plant foldies, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Grow Folds, with the notification bell on. This is Richie. I'll see you tomorrow on a brand new video. Bye.